Okay, the uh, second exercise is a set of cords based on this piece of paper. There are one, two, three, four, five cords. All major chords. The C, G, D, A, E. Okay, so this is the first five chords you're going to learn. It's done, uh, they're all three finger chords. Okay, so we're going to put them in order. When you put these chords in order, it's called a progression. So I'll take this off so as to not scratch the guitar. By the way, this is the Ibanez. It's a lovely sounding guitar. Okay, so it's your guitar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through these chords here. And I'm going to do it from this angle here. So we'll call them off as we go. And it's the C chord is shaped like that. Like diagonal, right? So it's gonna I'm gonna just play. Make sure when you play it, all the strings ring out. You don't mute it with a finger by it should have a and not have a muted note. So you gotta make sure your hand comes down straight down on this. So we're gonna go we want to make sure when we're playing these chords play every string all through all the way down. Every string should have a ring to it. So this is a C chord. I practice getting that. Notice how my fingers are straight down on it. And I do have this bone here kinda connected. So so as to allow stability for me. Anyway, so. The C, G. D. A. start with the second string down to go for the C is basically to be done this way. G will be playing that top note. Top string. So C is playing just the second string down and and continue uh, sounding all the strings out at, at the lower end of that. G, play that top string. D, I miss the top two and hit the third one down. A, moving to A, I don't hit, put the top one play, but I don't play the top string open, and I but I play the second string down op open. Skipping the top one, and then E I play the top one. E play the top string. And then roll all the way down. So one more time, we're gonna skip the top one for the C. Play all of them. D, the third one down. A, 
play just the second one down. And then E, top string, play that. The reason why we're playing just those top notes and it varies between strings is because sometimes on like a, a C chord, you don't, there's no E, you don't need to play that top E. It gives it a different sound. Uh, but in the D, you don't play the top two, but you play the last four. And the, the other strings above it might not have the notes of the chord, the three note chord. So that's why I don't play those notes. You get used to playing kind of the strings down. So matter of fact, we'll embellish on that a little bit later, but just go with that, the C. times, two times, two times, two times, and then eight times there on that one. Eight. So two, 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 and then eight, last one. So when you combine those twos up, it's two, uh, it's, uh, it equals eight, and then the last eight. So eights, it makes uh, two measures of music, or of uh, phrasing. So practice those with that, uh, the measures, the counting two for each chord change until you get the last one. It's an eight set of eight, eight notes. Okay, uh, so I'll let, leave you at that. Get that because we'll embe embe be embellishing those chords later um, and we need to have you get all the strings playing first. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you on the other side.